Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Time Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stage. I'm holding it so strong. And we're playing Madden 20. Oh, God. For the nana. We play it so much. Yeah, we play a lot of it. Yeah, dude, I'm I mean, so you, happy. you play a lot of I it. I have, dude. I probably, I should, like, play against other players to see if I've gotten better. Yeah, I tried to get you to do that ish, and you were like, oh, dude, I don't want to be embarrassed on the channel. Yeah, dude, I'm scary. And what, who's you going to be embarrassed at the eight people see you F up and do bad? Yeah, dude, I'm embarrassed. Well, what is there to be embarrassed about? about? my life. In general, <laughs> just go out there and look bad. You know how many times I've been on the sticks, and I'm sure that I've done something that people are like, "This guy has never touched a video game in his life." Oh yeah, that's my life. And I literally put in like twenty, thirty hours a week. <laughs> Your second job, and it's not not even a lie. It might even be more than a real job. No, not lately. Since I've been working, because now that I work like 12s and ish, I, I yeah, just yeah, you can't. can't play games on 12 days or yeah. not very much. Anyways, like I get like three hours to myself, and a few of those days have been encompassed with like day-to-day -day activities, man. Right, you're like, oh man, I gotta go like pay a bill. I was telling Jonas these mother efforts had the audacity. Like I started working 12-hour shifts, and then I work like four days a week. And that's what, 48, 48 hours. hours. Which is already. That's pretty good, right? Oh, yeah, you get eight hours OT a week, too? Yeah! These MFs wanted me to work 60 hours. They were like, can you work another 12? I'm like, no. No, 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 no. I need a life. So I hit them with the whole, I need to add, I need to maintain some degree of normalcy in my life. So well, I'm going to hate you forever. Exactly, man. That's how you burn yourself out, man. You 100%. Never, never work that hard, man. <laughs> Never. To hear that kids working hard just makes me nothing will ever happen in your life. <laughs> working hard is for idiots. <laughs> Who does that, right? Right. <laughs> I mean, not that. That's too hard, though. It's not like I'm. If, it's not like I'm trying to build a business if it over ain't here. Your company. Yeah. You, ain't, you don't need to work sixty hours yeah, a week. That's the thing. That is. Forty-eight the is thing. about where you should tap out at any job. That's the if thing. it ain't your company. Yeah, so I don't know, man. I definitely got a job now. Yeah, I, dude, that's good. I gotta go there today after we uh, after we record. Mm, it's good. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. <laughs> it's fine. Like it's okay. Hey, as long as I can pay rent, I'm cool. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> I don't care what you do for money, as long as uh, you can keep paying rent. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jones. What's it? What would you prefer I do? I said, I don't care what you do for money. All right, Jonas, if you could pick a job for me, what would that job be? Uh, what job do you... It does. It can be one I like. It can be one that you just want me to do. If I had to pick a do. job for you, I, yes. would, I would make you get paid for playing video games. You know, Jonas, if I had to pick a job for you, I would make you... Uh, a fluffer at <laughs> Joan. Let me I get give you I didn't dream even, job, and you give me what you yeah, think is my dream you, job. You but gotta, it's not. you gotta let me finish my sentence. <laughs> at the pillow factory, a <laughs> boy. <laughs> what? You don't like pillows? I get to work in a factory and fluff pillows all day. You're so yes, kind. Jonas. Meanwhile, you get to do what you love for millions what? of dollars. What? You don't? I thought you liked pillows. Since when? When I have don't I talked? Know. When have I ever mentioned pillows to you in my life? Who doesn't like pillows? Fine, that's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's what I'll do forever. And you know what I would really want for my job, Jonas, so don't even give me that. To play video games for free? Mm. For money? Uh, yeah, you know, you're not even wrong. Right, probably. dude. I thought I was giving you your dream job. You're not wrong. Nice. See what being nice gets you? Nothing. What job you got, in the pillow factory. You got a fluffer job, Jonas. You don't want to be a fluffer. What's wrong with being a fluffer? It is a respected position. Is it? Yes. Does anyone really have that job? Hey, anybody at home, if you're a fluffer at the Pillow Factory, let us know. Tell Jonas how great your job is. Yeah. Wow, it opened up like the Red Sea for him. There's not even a man within a mile. <laughs> Literally, so just like story of my life. Yeah, 
I got guess. a man within a mile? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There was a joke in there somewhere, and yeah. it was great, but I just didn't have it's it. It's cool, man. I got it. I didn't have the chops to pull it out. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, what? Uh, I guess that probably would be my dream job is just to play video games, but I got to play video games and not talk. To yeah, them. yeah. You're just getting paid to play them. Yeah. And the games you want. Oh, yeah. No, not that'd just be like great. any game. Like, they're like, here, you sit here and play games, no talk, <laughs> and play whatever you want. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine, like, waking up in the morning, oh, God, I got to play video games. Got to go today. play Overwatch all day <laughs> for nothing but my pure enjoyment. <laughs> and money. Yeah. But I could definitely see myself looking at the clock and being like, how many hours did I put in today? I got to get at least eight hours in. <laughs> I got at least get eight hours in. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what YouTubers do, I guess. But they got to talk. Twitch. Twitch, yeah. They're like, I got to get in eight <laughs> hours today. Overwatch League just moved to uh, YouTube, actually. Yeah, I heard that. A lot of people are moving to YouTube, or a lot of, like, uh, properties, I guess, are moving yeah. to YouTube. It's funny that, like, YouTube used to be for the the public, and now it's for, like, companies. There was, a, there was an infographic I saw that, like... It was like 10 years ago, out of the top 100 channels, like 85 of them were like just average, were just normal people. And now like 85 of them are like corporate entities. Yep. I could definitely see that. And those are the ones that get uh, that get top priority on like that trending page and stuff like that. Yeah, it's all like, you know, now that like NBC has a YouTube channel and ESPN has a YouTube channel mm-hmm. and all that stuff. T-series. It, yeah, where it used to just be like Joe, Joe Johnson's... <laughs> Garden Hour, you know, or whatever. That's actually a pretty good name for a channel. <laughs> Joe Johnson's Garden Hour. Yeah, I want to know how he's how his garden's hanging out. Hey, dude, this, he's got a good garden. I don't know, Jones. It wouldn't take like we we've definitely discussed in the past. It wouldn't take much for us to sell out and just turn corporate. Like uh, like if Heinz came in here and was like, hey, I want to buy your channel. Want to keep you guys doing what you're doing, but we'll take full ownership. I'm gonna be slanging ketchup. All right. Yeah, that's true, I guess. They're like, we love your voices. We want your voices to be our voices. And that's, you have to talk. Well, we, we give you a script. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'd be a voice actor. That's essentially your voice actor at that point. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, to a certain extent. I mean, you still got a show to put on. We're putting on a show. It's kind of like uh, what happened to, like, uh, like when Showtime buys stuff like David Letterman. He got out of the business, but the Showtime was like, hey, we want to bring you on. And then, like, uh, same thing happened with Jerry Seinfeld with that Ryan and Cars thing. They just they 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 purchase it because I don't think like they have sole ownership of the show. Yeah, I don't know exactly how all that works, but yeah, I'm pretty sure when these if these companies come to you, they're like, "Hey, look, we're gonna pick a show. This is what it's gonna be. Are you on or are you not?" Yeah, it makes sense. And then you own yourself. Basically. They own you essentially. <laughs> That's I mean, how you give up your. Uh... So this is two plays in a row. The half should have been over. That they've had a penalty. That now we get another chance. No, yeah, I'll take it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna take it for sure. <laughs> this time, I'm just gonna kick a field goal though. So yeah, uh, I don't know, man. I definitely, I definitely slang catch up. If anybody at home wants to buy the show, feel yeah, free. Yeah, is there any product that you would not sell out for? Ooh. Is there like a company that you like you wouldn't like you're like, I'm not gonna work for Chick fil A because they have bad views against this. Uh I would <laughs> is that one of yours? No. Because they do got some bad views they do against got some crazy <laughs> They have really good chicken sandwiches, but that hate, oh my god. I haven't been to a Chick fil A in forever. Dude, me neither. They have really good chicken is sandwiches. Is it good? Oh my god, they're so good. Like I hear good things about Chick fil A, but it's never been my bag. Oh, dude. I don't go there a lot. But their chicken sandwiches are very good. <laughs> like their fried chicken sandwiches. Oh god, they're so good. I guess like uh, 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 Big Tyler's Ku Klux Klan robe <laughs> emporium. Oh. Yeah, like if the KKK wanted to buy us, <laughs> I would say that would be a no go. <laughs> no, just the just the Ku Klux Klan robe emporium. <laughs> oh, like if they themselves called us. Yeah, if the KKK wanted to sponsor us, I'm taking their money. <laughs> but just not the people who make the robes. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> oh, 
effed up with that be if Jonas was like, no, the KKK are not buying the channel. I'm like, Jonas, look at the <laughs> check. Like, they're going to pay us. I'm like, look at the check, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> like no, I have principles. I'm like Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that is that it'd be worse for you than it would be for me. Everybody's just like, "What the hell? Are you like a sellout or something?" Be like Jonas is clearly a racist now. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas is gonna have to hold up if your Ku Klux Klan cape, <laughs> if your robes aren't the purest white. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to like defend him, like it was TNT's idea. I swear, <laughs> he talked me into it. <laughs> if you hate minorities oh. like I do, <laughs> <laughs> head on down to the Clan <laughs> Robe Emporium. <laughs> See, I can say that. I cannot <laughs> say that. I cannot say that, and I would never say that. <laughs> Why you would have a problem with it, I would. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how the world works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Today, I'm going to do it. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> bananas. <laughs> bananas! <laughs> Call bananas. No, I'm, just no, I'm, good. I'm, I'm joking. I don't care. He's going to be fine. I'm just getting good. <laughs> it was pretty good for a minute. <laughs> Today's episode <laughs> brought to you by the N word. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by hate. Make sure you hate everyone. Oh my God, Joseph. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I could see why you would have a problem with yeah, that. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't want to do that. I, I don't know if. Wow, Jonas, is this is that like a minority perk? <laughs> that you can be sponsored by the KKK and I can't? Is that the, is that the no, <laughs> no is that I don't have to no, hmm. worry about being called a racist? I mean no, you can definitely be called a racist and I've definitely met people who are black and are racist. I don't tolerate that ish. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um But yeah, I don't know. Like the people who are racist against you, I can just kind of like, yeah, I can make jokes. <laughs> Y'all hate me because of my skin. <laughs> you know, it's fine. I can make jokes. <laughs> it's like, I got jokes. Guys, I got jokes. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> this, this whole episode's off the rails. This, this is one. really. I, where did we start? But who knows, man? Who even knows? I gotta like actually like listen to it. I, we never know anyway, though. It's it's not. A we do snowflake. sometimes, man. Like uh, yeah. The last episode, I realized I started with Chappelle show, even though we got to. I don't even know where the hell we got. Yeah, see, huh? you you can't remember both ends of the spectrum. It's either you remember where we started or where we end. Because they're never where anywhere close to each other. No. It's not like we start talking about like sandwiches and end on grilled cheese. No. It's like. <laughs> We start talking about grilled cheese, end up on like dinosaurs. You ever been to Jamaica? I want to. Hawaii? Right near the beach. Puerto Rico? Hawaii? I've never been to any islands. Putin Bay? Never been to an island before. <laughs> you never been to Putin Bay? Nope. It's in Lake Erie. I've never been to an island, dude. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm, so I'm an island cyst. <laughs> I guess so. Racist against islands. That's kind of odd. No, I haven't been yet. No, dude, I want to go to an island, though. I've never been to an island either, but I've been to Putin Bay and I lived on Merritt Bay's Island. There's an island, though. Uh, there's an island. to get to it. Yeah, there's an island. Yeah, I've been there. Um, but I've been to Putin Bay and I lived on Merritt Island, which is an island off the coast of Florida. Which is why you had to evaporate for. Evaporate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I had to evaporate. Yep, so you had to evaporate for those hurricanes. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous, man. I, I would not ever want to live on an island because, honestly, there's just like, there's nowhere to get away. Like, how do you escape? You don't. You don't escape. There's, It's like that movie with Kurt Russell. There's no escaping New York. New York is an island. They're, they have Ellis Island. I thought New York was an island in and of itself. New York? It's connected to Pennsylvania by land. No, How? what am I thinking? New York City is an island. No, it's not. It's on the coast. 
It's not an island. All right, Jonas. Let's just showcase my lack of ge- geographical <laughs> I mean, yes, it's an island. Go look at a fun Yeah, map. thank you. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make him feel better and disregard history. Everybody change your maps, all right? Yeah, yeah all of a sudden. <laughs> Do you see that meme online? It was like... I gave my German friend a map of the U.S. and asked him to fill in the 50 states. And like he wrote in, like, Ohio with a question mark, like, <laughs> 16 times on it. He got, like, California, Texas. Yeah. He was like, I'm sure this is Texas, California. And it, like, maybe got, like, five others. And, like, Ohio was, like, written across Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois. Ohio yeah. is here somewhere? Question mark. This might be Ohio. This might be. Kansas was on there like six. Like the whole center of the U.S. was Kansas. Kansas yeah, Florida, Texas, <laughs> California, Ohio. And he goes, yeah, this must it. be Florida. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I thought it was funny. <clears throat> Uh, I am. I'm not gonna lie, Joseph. Man, I can't find anything on the maps. I know your geography skills aren't. It best. is not the best. They have a game uh, on Google. I think it is. It's called GeoGuessr. Yeah. Familiar with that? I'm not, but I'd probably be good. Geography is <coughs> pretty it, decent. With. It uses Google Maps and it takes you to like Street View, but it just puts you anywhere in the world. Oh, that would and be essentially good. you just like drive down the street. And you try to look at like the language, or you try to find like a top level domain, and you try to guess what point on the entire world map that they dropped you in. Well, that's pretty cool. It's not a bad. It's not a bad game, man. Some people actually play it on their channels. Ask some following. It's not bad. Um, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I can't tell Cambodian from Taiwanese from African. Oh yeah, me neither, dude. Uh, even if they were, to, and there's like you can like. Uh, Compress it into like just America or just Canada. Oh, that's or- cool. Like, if we could do like just America and then try to figure out where we were, yeah, I'd probably be better at that. I mean, obviously, well, anywhere yeah. in the world, like, I don't know the difference between all the languages or like if they dropped yeah. us in like the Sarah, the Sahara Desert, I'd have no freaking clue. Yeah, in the Sahara Desert. And there are, you know, like, I've watched a couple episodes of it myself, and there are, like, some things that you actually learn, like, uh, like the colors of the signs and like, uh, Certain certain signs will have two different languages, which means that it's probably like near the border. Obviously, the side of the road they drive on. <laughs> oh yeah, you could use like all those things too. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. It's a yeah, lot of it's information. Using, like context clues that you don't even think would be context clues. But like, oh, they're driving on the left. That must be like somewhere over in Europe where they. You look for like what languages are on the signs. Yeah, there's a lot of information out there, man. Or like, yeah, because there's always people too. Because you can see like what nationality the people that they catch are. I, I don't see color, Jonas. Well, yeah, me neither. But like, if you look, if you're looking purely at a picture, you can be like, hey, that man is a white man. That man is an Asian man. That and, man. And is what a- am I, Jonas? <laughs> <laughs> On the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's all time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Just check out our playlist page, man. We got so much stuff. Let's see us talk about nothing forever. I'm black. We are, <laughs> we're like the Seinfeld of YouTube. Black, 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 black. <laughs> we're like the Seinfeld of YouTube. We are out by.